The anticipation surrounding the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra has certainly captured the attention of tech enthusiasts and Samsung fans alike. Here's a breakdown of the key points and potential implications. The decision to release the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra exclusively in select markets, such as China and South Korea, might be a strategic move by Samsung to test the waters with a high-end, niche product. This could be due to manufacturing constraints, market demand, or even regulatory considerations. It will be interesting to see if the device eventually expands to other regions based on its reception. The rumors of a thinner design and larger screen are exciting, as they suggest Samsung is continuing to innovate in the foldable space. The addition of a titanium frame would add to the premium feel and durability of the device. However, the absence of S Pen support could be a disappointment for users who see it as a key feature of Samsung's foldable lineup, especially given the productivity benefits it offers. The speculation about a bigger battery and improved cameras, while still unconfirmed, aligns with the general trend of iterative improvements in flagship devices. These upgrades would be crucial for maintaining competitive parity with other high-end smartphones and foldables in the market. Launching the Galaxy Tab S10 around the same time could indicate a coordinated product release strategy, potentially targeting users who are looking for an ecosystem of Samsung devices. This could also appeal to consumers interested in complementary devices that work seamlessly together. The mention of a potential XR headset launch adds another layer of intrigue. If Samsung is indeed entering the XR, extended reality, space, it could mark a significant expansion of their product ecosystem offering new experiences in virtual and augmented reality. This move could position Samsung as a major player in the growing XR market, competing with other tech giants who are also investing heavily in this area. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, with its rumored features and design enhancements, appears to be a cutting-edge device that could push the boundaries of what foldable smartphones can offer. The limited release strategy might be a way to gauge market interest and refine the product before a wider rollout. Meanwhile, the coordinated launch of other devices like the Galaxy Tab S10 and a potential XR headset suggests a comprehensive strategy to solidify Samsung's ecosystem of devices and services. What are your thoughts on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and the other upcoming Samsung products? Do you think the limited release is a good strategy, or should Samsung make the device available globally from the start? Share your opinions in the comments section below.